Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial using the Anastasia Eyeshadow Couture in my review, which I did do a review on it. If you're interested in that, I will link it below. In my review, I kept saying Couture Palette, Couture Palette, but it is the Anastasia Eyeshadow Couture Palette, or is it Shadow Couture? Now I'm checking. No, it is the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette, and I didn't do the look that I used or that I did on myself on the day that I did the review, but I did something pretty similar, and I definitely used Pink Champagne because like I told you guys, that one is one of my favorite shades, and it is the one that I'm wearing on my eyelid, but I'm not really going to get into detail about what I did. I'm just going to go ahead and show you, so let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to begin by applying my eyeshadow primer and this one is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly just so it can even out my skin on my eyelid area since it is pretty veiny. I'm using Soft Peach as my transition shade so I'm just applying it on this area so it can look nice and pretty once I apply my darker shades. Usually I do the fast forward tutorials, but for today I decided to really show you the way I am applying the products on my eyes. Next, I'm using this beautiful soft peach color with a little bit of shimmer. This one is called Bellini and I'm applying that below this soft peach shade. And like I said, it's also peachy but it has a little bit of shimmer so I really love it. Now I'm just blending it out to make sure that it transitions nicely. And I'm going to continue to do that just to make sure that it looks well blended. I don't want it to look harsh, I want something very very soft, especially because I'm going to go in with a dark shade. The dark one that I'm going to use is fudge and I'm going to apply that on the outer part of my eye. I'm going to start on the outer corner and then I'm going to go up at a small angle. I'm not going to go too much because I'm, I am going to apply the dark shade in my crease. Sometimes I go above my crease depending on the look that I want to do but for today I am applying it right in the crease area. I want the outer part to look very dark, but I want it to blend in and what I love about this brush is that I can also go in towards my inner corner and that is what I'm doing. I want to create a shadow so that way I can really emphasize my crease and make it look kind of smoked out. This is not a smoky eye, but I do want to create a shadow in the inner corner of my eye and then blend it towards the outside to where it looks a lot deeper. Now of course I'm going to get my blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I want the outside to look very smooth like I said. Well not just the outside, the whole thing. I want it to look smooth and well blended but I want the outside to look very soft. Even though it's a dark shade I want it to look very soft and of course I look up and I look at my other mirror because I want to make sure that it looks even but that is what I'm doing there. I'm just blending it out. to build up the color. I want to build up the intensity. I want it to look very dark and then I'm going to blend out. So I'm going to add a color and then I'm going to blend out and I'm just going to continue to do that a few times just to make sure that it looks dark on the outside and just get the look that I really want. And the next color that I'm going to use is the fun color. This one is pink champagne and I am so in love with this shade. It is very beautiful and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of my, not inner corner, well in the inner corner as well, but mainly concentrating on the eyelid area and I'm putting that on top of the dark brown just a tiny bit because I want it to blend in together and then I'm going to go all the way to my inner corner. As you can see it packs on really nice. This is the second coat that I'm doing or the second application and I love the way that it looks. Now picking up my blending brush I'm just going to softly blend that out 
And the reason why I want to do it very softly is because I don't want the shimmer to get everywhere. This is the eyeliner that I'm going to be using. It's the NARS eyeliner and I use it all the time. And my NYC liquid eyeliner for my wing. And I'm going to start in the middle like I always do and then go in towards the inner corner. Make it very thin and as close to the lash line as possible. Then I do the wing and I'm making it pretty big today. And then I connect the two and just fill in the inner part. I am going to wear falsies today, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes first and then I'm going to apply mascara. The mascara that I'm going to use is the Roller Lash Mascara just because it has a nice wand and it gets all my eyelashes and it helps blend the falsies with my real lashes. Of course, I struggle a little bit with my falsies, but now that the glue is semi-dry or as dry as possible, I'm just applying a little bit of eyeliner to blend it out, and this is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. I really love the shimmer, the way it stands out, and it just makes it look like you took a lot more time than you actually did. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. turned out I hope you guys did too I feel like it's one of those looks that looks like it's hard to do or that you took a lot of time on but it actually is pretty fast to recreate I hope you guys liked it of course you know that I always try to do my tutorials pretty easy because that's just the way I do my makeup but I wanted to do a little bit more of a dramatic look because I feel like all of my looks are pretty simple and even though this one's simple to recreate it looks like I took more time on it when I did not but I hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and you like what you see here on Beauty News, I will see you on my next video. Bye!